Well, we didn't burn it, but we cooked it. All right, so you can cook the corn. What's up, my infected friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Miss Survival. And as you can tell, what I'm doing right now, I am recording these two episodes back to back, literally back to back. I just grabbed the screenshot. We're going into the next episode. Let's get this done. What are we going to be doing today? Um, I think what I'm going to do today is we are going to go ahead and grab more vehicles. And I think we're going to light up our compound. Um, now, some people are saying put vehicles inside the barn to light it up. I think I think I can light up the barn without the vehicles. I think the inside of the barn will be fine without the vehicles. I think we want to use the vehicles to light up the outside of the barn. Now, I know what you're thinking, and I know what you're saying, because I was thinking and saying the same thing to myself. Um, Cage, you know, you barely found the eight tires for the two vehicles you already have. How are you going to... And we're going to need multiple vehicles here, you know? I don't even know how many we're going to get done today. It might take a little bit longer than I anticipate. We'll have to see. Um, but the fact of the matter is no. And I might have mentioned this last video, but just in case I didn't, you do not need like a million sets of tires for each vehicle. All you have to do is, right? I'm going to take the tires off the, the 300 liter aquamobile. Is that what I ended up calling it? I don't remember. I don't think I've decided yet. Um, but yeah, I, I, all I have to do is take everything out of the aquamobile and go out there and bring back each individual, in each individual, blah, 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 blah. let's try that again, each individual vehicle. And then, and then, you know, put them in the position I want them to be to light up the compound and then simply take every single part out of them and go get another one. Oh my goodness. I did not expect this. Um, I don't know if I want to deal with this mist. Oh, I'll deal with it up here. Anyway, so all I have to do is, um, all I have to do is just go out and get each individual vehicle. It's going to take a while, unfortunately, but is that a tire? <laughs> wow, there's a tire right next to my base, because of course there was, um, <laughs> after all last episode. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring back as many uh, vehicles as I can possibly get done in one in one episode, and we'll see how that goes. And um, at the end of the episode, we should have at least, you know, two or three vehicles in the compound lighting it up. Should be pretty cool. All right, let's take care of these jerks. Get out of here. Time for you to go. Bye-bye. Yeah, right in the neck. Neck shot. And... Oh, God, that was way over his head. Way over his head, Cage. Come on. There you go. Got him. Third time's a charm. Three shots, one kill. They call me three shots, one kill. No, Cage, three shots, one kill, 848. I think that's my, um, that's my title. It's a pretty large title. I'm kind of like... The mother of dragons, the breaker of chains, the shooter of arrows, misser of arrows, you know, stuff like that. So, oh boy, this is going to be a doozy of an episode. All right, let's see what we get from these guys. Sugar! Oh God, oh God, that was, damn, center of mass of a skull. All right, more sugar. And those things are used to, those, um, what are those called? Grenade fragments or, no, military component box. Yeah, you use those for mostly grenades. Um, to upgrade the ammo bench to make grenades, and then for the grenades themselves. Oh, there's my other arrow. I missed quite a bit. I and mean, it's not really worth finding the other arrows. I could just get more sticks. No biggie. Loots! Now that I've got all this wonderful, wonderful water, I've got three of these things filled up. I've also got a bunch of buckets filled up. Uh, now we can properly water our crops and get these things to, you know, start growing. Um, the crops actually take a, t a decent amount of water. Um, I'm trying to remember to water them every day, but it's kind of hard. Um, I don't think they die. Oh, oh, never mind. I think that's fully grown, by the way. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to water these, and then I'm going to go ahead and pick those crops. I'm going to save the game first because I'm not sure if they're fully grown, but I think they are. Um, and I should get some corn out of them. I should get some seeds and some leaves and stuff like that. And uh, that will be wonderful. And then I'm, I'm eventually going to um, also uh, plant the uh, the tomatoes. I did get some tomato seeds from the bandit camp that I hit a couple episodes back. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plant those potato seeds as well. Um, I wanted to get that water supply, you know, taken care of before I, you know, did anything else. And it looks like you need, like, pretty much a full one of these for each one. Of they, they take a lot of water. Um, it'd be nice if, like, there was some kind of, I don't know, like, some kind of water setup thing we could do, you know, like... Um, I can't say sprinklers, but why not sprinklers? I mean, eh, it seems yeah, that seems a bit much. It's like, you know, digging underground with pipes and stuff. No, actually, it's not. You can just get a sprinkler that's attached to a um, uh, a hose, you know? Uh, I don't know. So, some way for a sprinkler would be nice, because it's kind of just, you know, it takes a lot of water. That's the thing. And I can never tell when it's done. I'd also like a water bar instead of just the color, you know, changing, because... Oh, well, that's, that's pretty good, actually. I could tell. All right, that's fine. All right, we'll keep that there. And, you know, we'll just keep all the buckets in here for now. Just for the time being. I eventually want to... I actually want to, like, build out the, um... 
I actually want to make like a, a farm here and I will do that. Um, but you know, just got to find some time. A lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff. And he's getting stuck, isn't he? Don't get stuck on there, please. All right. So we're saving just in case. And let's see what we get. Do we have room? We do. Okay. Harvest. Okay. So it looks like we've got some corn, some seeds. I'm going to pick these up just to get them out of there. So what did we get? Oh, wow. Wow. We got a lot of corn, huh? One thing of corn seeds. Now I think you can harvest for more corn seeds. So we'll harvest that for one more set of corn seeds. And what can we do with corn? We can make uh, chicken feed for Bobby. I know that. So let's just go ahead and harvest this one too. There we go. Oh, corn. Corn all over the place. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and harvest a couple more of these for seeds. I don't think the seeds go bad, right? The seeds don't go bad. Well, the seeds do have a percentage. But I don't think they're going down. Because I've had these tomato seeds for a while. And I don't think they've gone down. Now, can we eat the corn? That's another thing I'd like to check out. Uh, this isn't what this video is about, by the way. I'm just trying to, you know, uh, get this stuff done. All right, so the farming's pretty cool. All right, so let's do this. Number four, put the shield away, please. And plant. Destroy. Plant. Plant. None. Plant. Plant. Hmm. Why can't I plant there? That is odd. All right. Well, I'm not going to worry about it because that's not what this episode's about. Um, if you have an idea why I can't plant that, let me know. I'll mess around with it some other time. But I don't want to spend this whole day doing farming stuff because <laughs> it's not what it's supposed to be about. There we go. Farm's looking good. All right. So let's go ahead and make some feed. Now, do I make feed in here? No, I do not. Um, do I make feed in the workbench? I don't know where I make the feed. All right, so it's pretty obvious. You just press I. It's right in here under the little chicken head. All right, so let's go ahead and make some feed. So we are going to need a mortar and pestle. I guess the idea is you put the um you put the leaves in there with the seed or uh, the corn, and you just kind of grind it up. Right, makes sense. Now where is my mortar and pestle? No, nope, I think it's down. I think it's down here. I'm kind of organized, you know, but not not where I need to be just yet. Not where I need to be just yet. But I did know where my mortar and pestle was. So there's, you know, <laughs> there's a little something for me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make the seed and, and the chicken feed and put it in with the chicken. Um, now, Bobby is in a state of catatonic um, equilibrium. That's not really the word I was looking for. I was just looking for a big fancy word. Um, yeah, he's kind of catatonic. Like, he's not making any noise. And the thing is, like, he's I think he's, like, deactivated in the game. Like, I don't think he'll do anything. He won't drink. I already put water in there. He won't drink. He won't lay eggs. He won't do anything. But the thing is, he's quiet. So I'm going to leave him alone for now. Um, I think at the end of my recording session, we'll wake him up and uh, see if he eats and drinks. But I don't need him clucking away like an idiot, bothering me when I'm trying to record. Um, so we'll just put this in here for now. Oh. So that's how do, how do I give him the feed? I uh, use it. That's a water feeder, right? Water container. Um, I feel like I. Oh boy, how do you give him the feed? I don't know. All right, so what you have to do is you have to um like put the feed in your hands and then kind of just I guess throw it on the ground. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna throw it all on the ground. The hell with it. So you don't actually put it in the feeder. I don't know why that's called a feeder, a water feeder. I guess well, it feeds him water. But when I think of feed, I think of food, right? But, eh, whatever, we threw some food on the ground. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll wake him up at the end of the recording session. It might not be this episode. I'm thinking I'm doing three videos today. So, it might be next video for you guys. All right. So, let's go on out there and start getting some more vehicles. So, I guess the only way to do this is to drive out there, take everything off this vehicle, and then drive back. And I have to run all the way back out. That is going to suck. That means I'm going to have to find vehicles that are close to me. You know what? I do have a map of this game. If you guys want the map of this game, come to my Discord. There is a link in the description of every video I post um, for my Discord. Come in, chat. Love chatting. We have lots of people to talk to. And if you go into the Discord channel on my Discord, and on the top right-hand side, there's a little pin. If you press that pin button, the map is linked up there, and you can come and grab the map. I'm going to actually open up the map right now. Uh, that way I can get to the cars that are closest to me, because there's going to be a lot of running around for me, unfortunately. All right, unfortunately for me, the map I have does not show the location of cars. You know, it's fine. I know it's not, like, really a big deal. And, like, there's, like, so many scattered all over the map. It'd probably be hard to do that anyway. Now, I could go around and, like, look around the immediate area that I live in and kind of look for where cars might be closest to me. But, you know what? I don't think there's too many cars closer to me than the ones on this road. And I do know 100% there's cars on this road that I could grab. And, um, you know, the time, it might, it, there might be cars closer to me than the cars on this road. Oh, look at this right here. See? This is probably the closest one probably to me you know of all 
of all the cars. All right. By the way, let's check these since he did an update. No, nothing's respawned. Okay. So yeah, that's that's the idea. So oh my god, I forgot I had freaking full inventory. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I got all this room in here, so that's great. Um, yeah. So the idea is like you know I could go look for cars that might be closer to me, but the fact of the matter is the time it takes me to find cars that might be closer to me would probably be better off spent um, getting cars that I know where they are. You know. Um, the car that you know where it is, it, it might be a little bit farther away, but you'll take less time because, you know, you won't be looking for cars. So, you used to be able to take these uh, par parts out and, like, drop them on the ground um, for quick, you know... Ugh, I already freaking... Oh, here, let's take this. I don't have a lot of water with me. Um, yeah, you used to be able to drag that stuff out and just drop it on the ground so you didn't have to wait for the transfer time. I never did it because, like, I kind of feel like the transfer time is, you know part of the game and you know i didn't really mind it that much um but you know it's gone now you can't drop stuff out anymore if you drop it on the ground um it still takes the transfer time so you're not gonna really help yourself out at all and this is actually gonna take a decent amount of time i do want to keep things organized here because it will make finding things later a little bit easier so let's do that that looks pretty good We'll put the tires right here, one, two, three, four, um, and put all these parts up here. Should be good to go. We have a lot of gas. Um, we're gonna have to take the gas out of here. Again, you should be able to take you should be able to take out a certain amount of gas. Me can. I don't think you can though. If if you can, I obviously don't know how. Um, I don't think you can though. Uh, so you, it's either all or nothing with the gas, which is <laughs> just kind of weird, right? Like imagine like dumping gas into a car and being like, well, I I guess I gotta put it all in there. You know, I've got no choice. It's just the way it goes here in the uh, apocalypse, you know? So, I've got a ton of freaking gas, though. There we go. And then fill the can because you've got no choice. I also think it's funny that it takes just as long. Oh, the gas only holds 20. Okay, well, that's, that's interesting. I also think it's funny that whether you, you know, fill the can of 20 liters or 1 liter, it still takes the same amount of time. I find that uh, comical. Just comical. There we go. Yeah, so I don't know how many I wonder how many cars I'm gonna need for my compound. I think for I think for right now, I think two or maybe three cars. Honestly, I think two cars will probably be good enough for the compound of what I have set up so far. But um I think a three would be would be best. And for the entire compound, when all said and done, it's gonna be hard because um, you know, I'm gonna have to leave room inside the compound for the cars, and the cars are gonna take up a lot of room, so I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but you know, we'll figure it out. Or you know, I could just put those those burning barrels all around the place. The problem is, every night once I want light, I'm gonna have to go light or freaking fifty burning barrels. It's gonna be a whole ordeal, and you know, that's why I like electricity because you turn on the generator, and all your lights go, and that's it. You know, you don't have to go barrel to barrel filling stuff up, which is just you know, just an annoying. I don't want to do that. I really don't. Um, I'll do it on the inside of the barn. Because the inside of the barns, you know, relatively small. There won't be that many barrels in there. But for the outside part, you know what? Save the game, kids. But for the outside part, I could need like freaking, I don't know, 12, 15, 16 barrels. I mean, you know, this is going to be crazy, right? So I like electricity. I wish the, I think the floodlight should be a lot stronger. Um, like a lot stronger. Maybe, maybe give us the, um, maybe give us the uh, uh, ability to you know, tune the floodlights, like, you know, turn them up or down, depending on if they're inside or out or how far they are away from a uh, structure you're trying to light up. That might be pretty cool. So check this out, guys. You actually need the battery inside the car to run the lights. Wow. That is, man, that is really cool. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is that the, is the battery going to take damage now as the car is like, okay, so if... Uh, the way the way a real car works is well you wouldn't be able to run the you wouldn't be able to run the um uh, the car battery f like very long on a on a real car it would it, I think you could I don't know I don't know I'm not a car guy but I do know that like the car battery runs oh I'm gonna have to put everything back and start this up again aren't I no I'm not okay um so like basically what'll happen is if you leave your if you leave your lights on in your car it'll drain the battery and the battery will eventually die how long it takes I don't know. Um, and then when you turn on the car, once you like start the car, the alternator, it, do I have this right car people? The alternator will start running and recharge the battery. So if this battery takes damage and I don't think it will, but if it does, I think what should happen is, um, you should be able to run the car and have the battery charge. I think that'd be pretty cool. And that's the spot I have the car in, you know, um, you know, not too bad, not too bad. It's not. It's not that good, but it's pretty good. Maybe I move it up a little bit. I'm not really sure, but for now, 
That's a pretty good spot for him. Let me go ahead and sleep through the night because it is dark as F. You know, I just noticed my tires are starting to take damage. It's starting to make me a little nervous. Now, um, the tires were never taking damage before, which is the way it should be because <laughs> there's, only, there's not a lot of tires in the game. Um, so, yeah, the fact that the tires are now taking damage, albeit slowly, um, has me a little nervous, you know? So hopefully that won't be a problem. Uh, there's not a lot of tires in the game. And as far as I know, you can't get them from breaking up cars or anything like that. You can get, you know, engines and all the other stuff, but not tires. So hopefully that won't be an issue. Moving forward, we'll have to see about that. All right, so we want at least one more car today. So let's see what we can dig up here. Uh, are there any cars over there? I don't remember. I, I want to say no. Uh, I don't know, though, but I... Um, I think that, I think I have a better chance of getting cars this way. Yeah, it's just I forget where they are because I don't like pay attention to them. Once I get my first car, I'm like, okay, I don't have to, I don't have to think about that anymore. Look at that bear running away. Get out of here, bear! Don't make me kill you again. I'm gonna kill you again anyway. Eventually, I need to, guys got to eat, right? Oh, okay, the White House. There's one at the White House. Okay, yeah. So, the, bear, can you please get the f out of the way so I don't have to keep running into this uh, vehicle? Oh my god, I suck. I suck. Why do you suck? I haven't seen the, I haven't seen the game either, so... Let's be, uh... Care Actually, you know what? Screw that. There we go. Alright, so yeah, let's get to the White House. And see what's what. Probably shouldn't have gone this way, but that's okay. It will be fine. Maybe there'll be a vehicle right here. I don't see one. No. No. Although there is a camper. Let's hit the camper. <laughs> God. Uh, I'm the worst driver ever, I swear. <clears throat> yeah, let's hit the camper. These things, these things have a chance of giving you gears. So, yeah, if you see a camper, get out and hit it, man. Those gears are worth it. I mean, that's a lot of metal there you're saving. If you want to make, like, a security locker or something, or maybe, like, a second generator. Six gears per generator, yes. Yes. All right. It seems like getting the gears is a pretty low chance. Actually, we got to take that wood scrap as well, because we need them for the barrels. So, yeah, it seems like a pretty low chance with the gears, though. I, I, will be, uh, I will be honest about that, but that's okay. It's not no chance. So, low chance is better than no chance. And that's one you can take to the bank. Uh, what do we got over here? Where am I going? I got turned around. I think this is heading towards the White House. Let's see what we got here, too. Yeah, this is definitely heading towards the White House. I probably should just stay on the road. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I definitely looted this, obviously. Nothing respawned. No big deal. Oh, you know what? We could check out that, uh... We could check out that cabin. I've never been in that cabin before because there's always been infected in there. And I, I've never, like, been ready for them, so... Yeah, let's check out this cabin. Okay, hold on. Oh, I can't rotate. Yeah, I'm st I haven't restarted the game, so the rotation thing's still bugged. All right, we're going to have to do this old school. Oh. Oh, he's not happy. There you go. There you go, chump. How you like me now? So how many's in there? Two, three... I definitely see another one. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was a good one. Damn. Damn, Cage. Why are you letting it shoot like that, bro? Alright. See what's what. I thought there's usually three in here. Huh, maybe not. Only two, but they got my electronic components. Wait, what are they? Electronic components? Electronic parts, not components. Every game has, like, these same materials in them, and they all call them different things. So, it's not always easy for me to keep them straight. Can we take up this couch? Nope. 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 I'm just gonna hit everything. That when someone tells me, you can hit this, I'm like, nope, I hit it. Oh, a shield. I should be able to take that shield. That'd be freaking sweet. Okay. Nope. And crowbar. Old crowbar. 
Okay, and got some ammo. And I'm not taking another bat, dude. Like, I don't even use them anymore. Okay, cool. Q, Q, Q. Let's get to the White House. Man, the White House is such a good place to live. Huh. So I'm just sitting out here in front of the White House, you know, doing my thing, getting these uh, parts transferred. And the mist came in. And I have no, like, base defense set up here. Now, the, the bottom the bottom part of the White House, I'll show you in a minute, has w open windows. And you have to, like, board them up. They're not bo they weren't boarded up, or if they were, um, you know, they get broken down, right? So I knew that. So what I did was I went upstairs in the master bedroom, and I just slept through the mist. And, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the infected broke in, but they could not get upstairs and get to me, you know, in the, um, in the enclosed room that was upstairs. So the White House, yeah, I mean... <laughs> It might be the best place for new players to live, you know, if you're just playing the game for the first time. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So these uh, these are all boarded up, but the, the infected break through them. So they broke through this part right here. You can repair it if you like. And they, you know, broke in. They broke in through there, and that's it. Um, by the way, if you see windows like this without any opportunity to board them up, they can't be broken in. Only certain windows can be broken in. But I was up here in this room with the door closed. They couldn't get to me. They, you know, no chance. All right. By the way, if you are living in the White House, um, people have been mentioning this so many times to me, and I just have not had a chance to talk about it yet. If you're living in the White House or really any house, what you want to do is you want to make these um, livestock fence, right? And then you just put them like, you know, like this, right? And then you just put them in the window. All right, you make those in the window. Now, if you make those in the window, um, I haven't done it myself, but people told me it works the same way it used to work. And the way it used to work, and the way I believe it still works, is the um, infected cannot break them. And not only can they not break them, but they can kind of like get their head stuck through it, and you can actually kill them um, quite easily from inside um, in complete and 100% safety. And that is awesome. I wonder if I can get back to my building through these back roads. The problem is these back roads take me to that, um, to that big bandit camp, although... I should probably check it and see if it's still empty. Uh, but not today. Not today. I'm going to go back the way I know um, I should be going back. So it's just easier. Maybe maybe when I run back here on foot to get my truck, you know, I'll, I'll come back a different way. Maybe a more direct way. Because I think you can go through the woods. The problem is I don't want to be driving this truck through the woods. It's not, you know, it's not really what it's made for. Oh, careful. Right there. Bandits are going to spawn. Sometimes they shoot at me. Sometimes they don't. Um, I don't know if they always spawn. I don't, like really get a chance to look over there. I just kind of drive by. I'm assuming they do always spawn, but who knows? I thought the Big Bandit Camp would have respawned. Now that video, um, just so you guys know, that video for the Big Bandit Camp for me has not gone up yet. So if you guys gave me any tips about the Big Bandit Camp respawning, um, I haven't read it yet. So I look forward to those. T Actually, has that video gone up? No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Guys, I've made so many videos of this game the past couple weeks. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but it's going great. People love it. People are watching them. You guys are watching them. You're, you're liking them. You're... Um, you know, chatting, uh, the, the comment section, one of my comment sections had like 144 responses the other day, which is just phenomenal. That all helps with the YouTube algorithm. So thank you very much, guys. I'm really glad you're enjoying this series. And as long as people keep watching, I'm going to keep putting up videos on this game, like just crazy. Uh, I don't know if they're going to keep being daily. Um, Honestly, I don't really see any reason not to make them daily. They're just doing gangbusters. Uh, but there is other games I would like to get up there as well. Um, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. Come on, Scotty boy. I got some work for you to do. Assign work. Cut down trees. Why don't you cut them down for two hours? And don't pick up anything. Um, actually, pick up the leaves. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. Assign the task. All right, go to town. Um, I wanted this uh, truck right here. Kind of like, um, maybe over here on this side. I'm thinking about bringing it over here on this side. The wall right here is going to be kind of tough, though. Um... Oh, you know what? I think parked right here, pointing this way, would be ideal for that truck. But the thing is, there's too many trees in the way. I wanted to leave the trees. There's a lot of logs here, guys. Jesus. Unbelievable. Um, I wanted to leave the um, trees as, like, an ambience thing. Like, you know, just leave trees. It'll be cool. Feel Make, make us feel like we're more in the woods. The problem is the trees are simply going to get in the way. There's just no two ways about it. We got we to gotta get rid of them. Um, and I'm going to have these guys make me a lot more firewood. Because there's no reason not to. Who should I have cut it down? I had Rachel do it last time. Let's do Kate. All right. And just kind of throw these on the ground. I need a storage area for the firewood. We'll get into that at some point. Um, okay. That's looking pretty good. So this one's good here. I kind of like this one here. Although I might take this one over here and put it like this and aim it this way. You know? Although I got to be careful because there's going to be a farm here. I don't know how far the farm's going to come out. Probably to about right here. It doesn't need to be super big. I mean, honestly, that's already probably too big. But... All right, so, um, you know, I don't think I'm going to get another vehicle today because it's taking a long time. I'll do it over the course of the next few videos, but you guys get the idea there. Um, I'm going to go back and get my old video. Uh, my, old, my old video. I'm going to go back and get my old um, 
truck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these on the way. So if I run out of stamina, I can cut them down into wood. Um wood planks and the reason you want to cut them down to wood planks is because that passes time and is a quick way for you to get your stamina back um and i'm going to try and go directly for where i think my truck is but you know um it's going through bear country and, and randit country and you know i don't know if i want to deal with that but we'll see i'll try and get back there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the truck i'm going to bring it back and then i want to try and cook that corn i don't know anything about cooking the corn I don't think there's a recipe for it, but I think maybe I could maybe make some corn on the cob or something. That's what I'm kind of hoping. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. And yes, I did forget all of the car parts and have to come back. Um, but I did get my car back and uh, I came back starving, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. Now you can eat the corn, but I think if you eat it raw, maybe you get sick. I don't know, but we're going to try and cook it. I don't, like I said, I don't see any recipes for it, but we're going to try and cook it and see if we, you know, see how that works. And then uh, we're going to call it a video. So, uh, we got a couple cars back here. It takes a long time to get the cars back here, guys. Like, a long freaking time. It's going to take me some time because I can't, can't be spending hours running out there getting cars all the time. But we'll get it done eventually. We will get it done eventually. Let's go ahead and pick up some firewood. I always put the max firewood on. Oh, wait. No, I guess I'm not. <laughs> Never mind. I usually put the max amount of firewood on, but not this time. All right. So, will these cook? They're making a little sizzle sound. So, I'm thinking they might. Uh, well, they say raw, so if they say raw, that's probably a good indicator they're going to cook. Um, let's go ahead and grab the fat out of here. Oh, that took some time. I hope we didn't burn the corn. Yep. Well, we didn't burn it, but we cooked it. All right, so you can cook the corn. All right, so you know what? That makes... um, You know, well done. Cool. You know, that makes the whole idea of farming a lot more enticing. I don't have to go out there and, you know, get the, uh, the stupid bear all the time. Um, let's see if there's any recipes. See, yeah, none of these recipes even take corn. Like... Enough with the carrots, like, make a corn. Make this broccoli corn. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. That's a pretty decent amount of food. I'm not going to lie um, for something you can grow. I'm very happy about that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.